recognizes the gentlelady from Cal Florida, from Wasserman Schultz, for five minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in recognition of National Work and Family Month. As a mother of young kids in a household with two working parents, I know all too well the daily struggle facing today's American families. How can we be great parents and also be great at our jobs? This summer, when I was home in my congressional district, a constituent raised a question that particularly struck me. Can you imagine what a typical work week would look like if suddenly, without warning, every single child care provider failed to show up to work and left parents with no alternative child care options? From Wall Street to Main Street, America's businesses would come to a grinding halt. And the carefully spun web of endless schedules and systems and to-do lists that we've created to make it all work would unravel. With the number of parents working full-time on the rise, more and more families are fully engaged in the daily juggling act that comes with trying to do it all. Particularly in today's economy, when secure employment has become more tenuous, Parents have become increasingly hesitant to ask their employers for great effect, fl greater flexibility in their work schedule, to encourage their company to open a daycare center, or to ask for the option to work remotely. If anything, the current economic climate has led to an even greater need for increased flexibility. Thousands of parents are at home not by choice, but because they lost their jobs and have not yet had the opportunity to reenter the workplace. These parents may be at home, but looking for employment is a full-time job. With thousands of American families experiencing this situation as we speak, we are hearing too many stories about parents who couldn't get to an interview, a networking opportunity, or a job training session because their partners didn't have the flexibility in their work arrangements to make it work. Studies show that employees and their families are not the only ones to benefit from greater workplace flexibility. From improved productivity and efficiency to higher employee morale, Flexible work arrangements benefit employers and can help businesses reach their fullest potential. In the last decade, we've seen significant strides made toward improving the great juggling act that is work-life balance. We cannot let this progress slip away during these challenging economic times. In the spirit of National Work and Family Month, I urge my fellow policymakers, employers, and employees to pause this month to think about how we can better work together to make it just a little bit easier for today's families. Attending the school play, tending to a sick child, or just being able to meet your family's needs makes a huge difference in the morale and work ethic of an employee. Achieving work-life balance makes for a more productive employee and a more loyal one. I encourage all employers to assist their employees in achieving this balance. It will reap immeasurable benefits for both the workplace and for our families. Thank you. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlelady yields back.